birth canal. And I know they even use that kind of, um, they use that as an out for in Planned Parenthood for legal late term abortion, like post abortion. So if the head is out, they can kill the child because the head, because the rest of the body is still in the mother. So that's quite a sad thing about my country. Um, let's take another caller. Um, Steve from Virginia, you're on the air on the Alex Jones show with Julia Transky of Brave the World. Yes, ma'am. It's nice to meet you, Julia. Um, I live in Linden, Virginia. Apparently, the shooter uh, who killed those people in Norfolk uh, shot himself over near my neighborhood. Now, a couple strange things that have been going on. Um, first of all, they've had the highway locked down, Route 66 eastbound. The I live next off of Route 55 here, and there have been trucks, semi-trucks, and a lot more traffic on 55 because they... I guess they maybe cut out 66 between the Markham exit, that's exit 18, and exit 13, the Linden exit, for the crime scene investigation dealing with this issue. But the strangest thing that me and my, my neighbors and I noticed was that over an hour and a half after the announcement that the gunman had shot himself, there were several helicopters in the area here, and a couple of them were really close. to. They were flying at treetop level. It seemed to be that they were looking for someone or something, and yet an hour and a half before that, I mean, they were flying low, and all over the place. They were looking for something after the press announced that he had shot himself. Over an hour and a half. Now, we had up to 10 helicopters here today. They're all gone now. But I don't think that this situation, I don't think what they're telling us is all of the story. I'm not going to say for sure that I don't know if there was an accomplice or something. Well, but should, something is not right. You should write all that up and try to submit it. Well, I, I I'm mean, sorry, I, I pulled you I, out. I pulled the sound out for a second. You should write all that up and try to submit it to maybe any kind of media outlet that would take you. Uh, get it out there. Well, I mean, I I think a great place is calling into Infowars. Yeah, for going, sure. I've never, I've never called in before. I'm a tradesman. You know, I got my own business, whatever. I got a job. I'm a tradesman. Uh, I happen to be off today when this happened. But, I think it would be. I think I mean, it'd be a great idea to just send in your observation to all of the kind of um, more main, like more of the mainstream dinosaur media too, because we do have a specific audience, and it would be like I always comment even about my own channel. Like, how do you escape the petri dish of libertarianism and anarchism and people who are into uh, freedom in general? So that people like you who observe things, you know, firsthand and actually getting out, you know, journalists, you know, they have an agenda, but then of the day they need something to report they always want to get some new information so i would highly recommend just send you know trying to get through to them a little bit let me just say this in in reference to that i did we had a situation out here i live next to the train tracks and they've been blocking us in for years now for hours on end hundreds of times and finally um we got seven on your side that's wjla that's the local news service and i they sent out a reporter, Stephen Cheetah, to do the uh, report here. He used to work for Fairfax Channel 8 News, but here's what happened. I called him today about it, and they said, thanks, we're not interested. So I did make an effort just calling okay. them today and reference, reference the train track situation. Yeah, that's the that problem with those guys, right? They, they can be very selective with their information. But thank you so much for sharing on the air. Um, let's go to... Um, Zach from Kansas, and then we'll go to Jason from Florida after. Uh, hi, Zach. You're on the air with uh, on the Alex Jones Show with Julia. Hi, Julia. Um, I just had a quick question here. Yeah, you I have a short time, but in... we'll uh, we'll get back to yeah. you. So go ahead quickly. What are your What are your thoughts on Bitcoin Core versus Bitcoin XT? And yeah. then now there's kind of a new twist with BIP 100. But just wanted to take your uh, your thoughts on that because I know. Um, I will give you my thoughts right after the break, and uh, we'll be back on The Alex Jones Show in a few minutes.
Hi there. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. My name is Julia Taransky, and I am from BraveTheWorld.com, filling in uh, for Alex. The previous caller just uh, asked me about what I think the block increase debate in tr uh, for Bitcoin. So there is uh, XT, which is being pushed by Hearn and Gavin Andreessen, who has self-coined himself as chief, uh, chief engineer of Bitcoin. And they've been pushing this for over a year. Like, this is a new news to me. This has been a problem in the community for a while. It's just new news because it's become very mainstream. And basically, they've discredited themselves. And they, um, you know, Hearn, everything Hearn has pushed throughout the years has been very uh, pushing for centralization or resulting. And everything is pushed will result in centralization uh, over, you know, people one person overseeing everything um, he called he wanted like a more democratic mining strategy which would make miners be able to vote uh, penalties onto each other he wants red lists so a lot of people actually suspect that Hearn is working for uh, MI6 or some sort of government agency and is there like as a state shill to disrupt the technology which otherwise is doing quite well um, Gavin is you know just become the cult of personality in Bitcoin and you know when you have a benevolent leader they're benevolent until they're not and nobody really accepted him as their leader Anyways, it was all public, publicly constructed through the numerous interviews he's done. So XT is a terrible idea and I would take all the other core developers much more seriously who are organizing an event in Montreal this coming September to have an open dialogue about the changes and how we can maybe implement them incrementally and what is the best way of going about it. So that's my opinion on that and actually had um, a boy from... Uh, Blockstream, which is a company that employs these core devs, be on the crypto show the other day. So if you want to look up that episode on the crypto show dot com, he really lays down uh, the the technical aspect and the political aspect very well. His name's Johnny Dilly. Um, I can't go to the next caller. We don't have that much time left. I'm so sorry, Jason, uh, but please call back next time. So I want to maybe wrap up with, since it's quite topical now with the Planned Parenthood leaks, uh, the abortion debate. And I mentioned that in Canada, we have a abortion up to the moment of birth. And I have a great video that I put forth that doesn't take uh, any kind of... Uh, approach from an agenda perspective and if you guys want to just play the start of it. Most of us have a very strong opinion about abortion. This video is going to show you just how baseless that opinion is. It's easy to pick a side and never reconsider it. We don't really like to think about heavy things for too long. But this is a disgrace to logic, and in the case of abortion, it's unforgivable. Now, I won't be arguing whether abortion is okay based on religion, feminism, or what your president says. Abortion is a purely ethical issue. So Everything I'm gonna just uh, elaborate on that. <laughs> The, the whole debate has been hijacked uh, with the political uh, distinction between pro-life and pro-choice. And now the liberals are taking this new term saying anti-choice, which is uh, radicalizing the issue even further, anti-choice. Whereas the uh, pro-lifers are not anti-choice because <laughs> pro-choice is anti-choice. Where is the f all the women that are aborted every year, every year, where is their choice? They didn't have a choice in life. They're killed before they're allowed to make that choice because they're still human beings by every definition or non-definition that we have. It's all arbitrary. So check out that video. You can find all my work on bravetheworld.com. I have a YouTube channel and you can follow me on Twitter at bravetheworld. It was really fun hosting and uh, I'd love to be back on the Alex Jones show again and stay tuned because this is one of the best news